The humanoid robot chess game between Tesla and Boston Dynamics is not only determined by pre-programming and AI, but also by the type of powertrain that's integrated within. Instead of opting for a hydraulic drive, like the Atlas bot, Musk developed Optimus with a separate electric drive from Tesla, which he says is the best in the world. Aside from that, the fact that Optimus can walk with its knees bent is the key to saving energy. So, how do these factors determine Tesla Bot's future breakthrough? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. To assert control over the humanoid robot game, Tesla is aiming to release a limited number of Optimus models by late 2025, according to sources we've received information from, indicating around 100 units. However, we are unsure whether Musk can meet this set target. Currently, Tesla's Optimus project is actively seeking to fill 61 positions. Among the 61 new jobs opened for Tesla's robot, at least five are categorized as Optimus production roles. Many perspectives express curiosity about why the Tesla bot moves with bent knees like an old man. In reality, behind this issue lies a significant concept that came from the mind of Musk himself. So what exactly is the reason for the Optimus not being able to walk straight? Well, if we pay closer attention to most humanoid robots today, not only will the Tesla bot perform this type of jaunt, but others like the Atlas from Boston Dynamics also have such a bent knee gait. You may not know this, but besides the normal walking style, humans can also walk with bent knees, just not as exaggerated as these robots are doing. Go ahead, try walking a few steps with your knees fully closed and you will feel the difference. So why is the bending more exaggerated in robots? It's a combination of reduced crash damage, force feedback, and a lack of degrees of freedom, or DOF in this case. Each time the robot's legs touch the ground, there is an impact. The stiffness increases proportionally to the straightness of the knee, causing vibrations to transmit to the joints. Humans do not encounter this issue because we are soft creatures with ligaments between our bones, the ability to dampen muscle activity, and other biological benefits. Furthermore, these robots need to react quickly to external forces, changes in terrain, and other non-ideal conditions. I mean, if someone pushes you, you have over 200 degrees of freedom that you can use to reposition your center of gravity, all the while keeping your feet planted on the ground. The Optimus robot, on the other hand, only has a few degrees of freedom to achieve that. The curved legs provides a larger rate of motion where external impacts can be compensated for. And they also transmit forces better to adapt and maintain stability. Speaking of, the stability of the robot is enhanced when the knees are bent, as this lower stance increases the contact area with the ground, simultaneously reducing the risk of the Optimus falling. Particularly on hilly or uneven terrain, the ability to adjust the robot's center of gravity by bending the knees helps maintain stability and balance. Evidence of this can be observed in some scenes where Optimus demonstrates remarkably impressive balance control. Its curved knees give it a somewhat slender, deliberate walking posture, but that stance is common for humanoid robots today because a straight-legged posture demands much more precise balance, a factor that Tesla has not yet achieved excellence for in Optimus. But why is Optimus walking on its knees an effective way to save energy? The initial Optimus prototypes will serve the Tesla factory, so the manufacturer's shaping of such a way of moving also brings benefits in terms of the ability to move in narrow spaces. Robots can flexibly move and turn more easily, especially when having to overcome hundreds or thousands of mechanical and human obstacles, as well as making precise moves in narrow spaces between areas and along small walkways in the factory space. It can be seen then that knee walking helps reduce step length, increasing accuracy and flexibility in Optimus's movement activities. Notably, energy efficiency is another benefit of this decision. In the original Optimus Gen 1 model, the 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack is not overly large enough to provide sufficient power. 
Therefore, adopting a crouching posture helps the robot consume energy more efficiently compared to walking with straight legs. And this is all because less energy is required to maintain balance and move while on the ground. Musk's effort in this regard aims to minimize energy loss from a not overly powerful lithium battery system. Ultimately, this becomes especially crucial when the robot operates in an environment with limited energy resources, as well as dynamic areas. Interacting with humans is also an important factor. The lower posture of the robot when crouching helps create a more human-like image, making it easier for robots and humans to gaze upon each other through the eyes, generating a friendly feeling, which could contribute to a better interactive experience in communication situations with users. Despite the evident benefits, Tesla's Optimus is still in the developmental stage and there may be improvements in the future. Current technological limitations, especially in environmental sensing and motion control capabilities, might make the decision to crouch reasonable. However, with continuous advancements in robotics, there is an expectation that in the future, robots will have the ability to walk with straight legs like humans. This opens up many new opportunities for integrating robots into our daily daily lives. Currently, we are informed that about 80% of the assembly is done manually by a separate team, a group that transitioned from the development of Bumblebee. The reality is that Tesla is still facing a shortage of personnel in this field. According to Musk, the most significant challenge lie in achieving humanoid robot functionality and developing Tesla's proprietary independent electric drivetrain, both of which are given top priority along with integrated AI. So why is the powertrain so decisive for the development of Optimus. When it comes to the long-term vision, we are confident in stating that Tesla bot will be more crucial than Musk's EV models. As you know, Musk's ambitions in AI are something quite challenging to fully articulate. Despite having less than two years of experience in humanoid robot development, Tesla has opted for a path that is less similar to Boston Dynamics, even though they are globally renowned for their leading robot technology. 30 years of experience. But first, let's talk about Musk's choice of using an electric drivetrain instead of hydraulics as seen in the Atlas model from from BD. Getting straight to the point, the reason Optimus is highly regarded over Atlas is not only due to programming methods, but also the fact that it relies on an innovative drivetrain that Musk is committed to. Because of this, one of the superior aspects of the Tesla bot compared to Atlas or other robots is the mention of energy efficiency. So how can a Tesla bot work all day on just one single charge? One of the notable advantages of the electric drivetrain, especially in the case of Optimus and the Tesla bot is the ability to achieve energy efficiency levels of up to 75 to 80 percent. T-Bot, with its flexible power consumption thanks to the drivetrain engaging when necessary and conserving energy during idle periods, provides a distinct advantage, whether serving as a homemaker or a factory staff. Furthermore, with higher energy conversion efficiency compared to other drivetrain systems like hydraulics or pneumatic, Optimus can perform intricate and highly flexible movements. This is evident in tasks such as squad exercises, yoga, and even drone dance. Not only that, but the high energy efficiency also translates into significant reduction in energy consumption, allowing the Tesla bot to operate for longer periods with a relatively small battery compared to competing counterparts. This is partly because Optimus experiences less energy loss due to the absence of friction between its drivetrain components. It's easier to visualize when compared to Boston Dynamics' Atlas, where hydraulic drivetrains typically have efficiencies ranging from 40 to 55 percent, or pneumatic systems with efficiencies usually between 10 to 25. Unlike electric systems, hydraulic drivetrains have many factors influencing the efficiency of the fluid power system, including temperature, pressure, compressor design, seal integrity, and system leakage. Efficiency often decreases at higher speeds due to energy losses in the transmission and the heating of hydraulic fluid. We're not certain about the extent of energy reduction in the Atlas robot, but when considering a hydraulic drive system, it's evident that the energy loss due to friction between hydraulic components will likely be higher compared to an electric system like Optimus, possibly even posing a risk of oil leakage. Consequently, all these factors 
factors create a certain gap when incorporated into a humanoid robot, and we speculate that this is the reason why Boston Dynamics is still struggling, despite having been ahead of Tesla by several decades. But what makes the Tesla bot say no to operating noise and big size? One of the criteria that industry experts highly appreciate in the Optimus is its quietness in every step, even during operation. It's evident that Tesla is putting significant effort into minimizing motor noise across all technologies, not just EVs. Proof of this is evident in the latest Model 3 Highland Edition, where both wind and engine noise have been significantly reduced. In contrast to the hydraulic drivetrain system, the Tesla bot only requires an actuator and a relatively small control unit for the drive system, all neatly arranged in the robot's chest. It's easy to notice that engineers have assembled it meticulously to create a well-balanced robot compared to any humanoid robot on the market. Currently, the Tesla bot stands at a height of 5 feet 11 inches and weighs 121 pounds after a 22 pound reduction in the latest upgrade. Notably, the lightweight design allows it to run at a speed of 6.5 miles per hour, a 30% increase. The efficient drive system significantly contributes to achieving these performance specs. When looking at Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot, despite its high agility demonstrated through complex actions such as running, jumping, climbing the stairs, and navigating rough terrain based on pre-programmed movements, the overall assessment of its perfection is considerably lacking. It's important to note that the structure of a hydraulic drive system is quite complex, requiring numerous subsystems, which when combined contribute to an increase in the overall weight and size of the system. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that the Atlas doesn't resemble a humanoid robot despite undergoing numerous upgrades and modifications. Up to this point, it still appears like a makeshift metal structure standing at a height of 5 feet 9 inches and weighing 180 pounds after the latest update. Wow, sounds like me. In some of the uploaded videos featuring the Atlas robot, it's noticeable that there is sound coming from the hydraulic system. This is inherent because, by nature, it requires cylinders, a power unit to supply oil pressure, control valves, filters, and other auxiliary components. During operation, fluid circulates through the pipes accompanied by pressure on the valves, resulting in noise. This is a significant drawback for the Atlas. So, when choosing the electric drivetrain for Optimus, Putting energy efficiency benefits aside, Musk likely considered various accompanying factors. This decision not only contributes to energy saving, but also allows the robot to operate more quietly, minimizing potential discomfort. How do you feel about the advantage of this Optimus robot from Tesla? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. In Optimus' videos, where it folds a shirt in less than 30 seconds, rearranges blocks by color, or handles smooth objects like eggs, we confidently assert that Tesla is investing significantly in the precision that Optimus can deliver. Half of the process is carried out by AI, and the other half depends on the drive system control. So, is this electric drive system better than hydraulic systems when it comes to precision? The hydraulic drive system of the Atlas is notable for its ability to withstand heavy loads and forces, because it requires a large volume of hydraulic fluid and a pumping system to generate pressure, making this robot strong and flexible in various situations. However, achieving precise positioning along with the trajectory becomes complicated, requiring the assistance of control valves and operators. Advanced hydraulic servo control systems can offer high precision and repeatability, but this comes with significant costs and complexity. This is why the Atlas is rumored to be priced at $150,000, and Boston Dynamics has not shown commercial signs for this humanoid robot despite its existence since 2013. On the other hand, the Tesla bot utilizes an electric drive system, providing unlimited positioning capabilities according to a standard that is much less complex. This system, once programmed, requires minimal intervention or maintenance to maintain accuracy and consistency. While its weakness lies in its inability to withstand loads like the integrated hydraulic system of the Atlas bot, 
It compensates with the simplicity and efficiency of AI technology in executing a variety of tasks that Tesla has projected over time. Now here's the big question. How clean and green is the Optimus based on its electric powertrain? Currently, details regarding Tesla's utilization of humanoid robots in EV production at its factories remain undisclosed. As previously mentioned, while the advantages of Optimus are evident, they also present challenges that Musk is striving to address. Despite being a manufacturer with less than two years of experience in the field such as Tesla, the entire concept of Optimus reflects Elon Musk's unwavering dedication to technological advancement and emission reduction. In the foreseeable future, potentially even within this year, Tesla may publicly introduce the Model 2 Redwood production project featuring Optimus assistance on the production line, a notion hinted at by Musk himself. Unlike traditional hydraulic drive systems, the T-Bot eliminates concerns regarding fluid leakage within the factory environment. Due to the use of a hydraulic drive system in the Atlas robot, it faces inherent issues related to leaks from the hydraulic system. If the Atlas robot experiences oil leakage from the hydraulic drive system, it could lead to various serious consequences, depending on the extent and location of the leakage. Firstly, a minor leakage could cause a drop in pressure within the system, making the robot weaker and unable to perform heavy tasks. Conversely, a larger leak could push the robot into an inoperable state due to the lack of necessary pressure to move its joints. In addition to that, hydraulic oil can seep into other parts of the robot, causing damage to electronic components, sensors, and mechanical parts. Moreover, if oil leakage is not promptly addressed, it can also contaminate the surrounding area, posing risks to operators and creating difficulties in maintenance. Another consequence, if leakage is not controlled, is the risk of fire, as hydraulic oil is flammable. This becomes particularly dangerous if the leaked oil comes into contact with sparks or a heat source. Additionally, hydraulic oil leakage also causes environmental pollution, especially if it infiltrates the soil or water sources. In contrast, the electric drive system integrated into the T-Bot does not have any of these drawbacks. The Tesla bot utilizes an electric drive system, a solution that typically requires minimal maintenance. This system is compact in size and rarely needs extensive upkeep. In high performance applications, periodic lubrication procedures may be necessary, but these are often simple tasks with low associated costs. In contrast, the Atlas uses a hydraulic drive system, a powerful but high maintenance means. Hydraulic fluid powered devices are typically robust and can be deployed easily, but to maintain stable operations, they require significant maintenance. For instance, routine maintenance involving air and oil is essential to prevent moisture and contaminant buildup that could prematurely degrade seals and other system components. The electric drive system has doubled the efficiency compared to hydraulic systems, but it may have higher initial costs. However, over the system's lifespan, the total cost of ownership will be significantly significantly lower when considering increased efficiency, system flexibility, lower maintenance costs, improved processes, and lower utility costs. While the leaked pricing of the Optimus ranging from twenty dollars to $30,000 may be challenging to realize at the initial launch, there is belief in a lower price point as Tesla achieves significant progress in expanding production and recouping profits. Analysts have speculated that Optimus could become Tesla's main revenue stream when they achieve a production volume of a million units per year, surpassing the highly competitive EV market. Considering this, the choice between the electric transmission system of the T-Bot and the hydraulic transmission system of the Atlas both bring about their own advantages and disadvantages, depending on the specific requirements of the application and the significance of maintenance. So, in the end, how do you feel about Tesla establishing a clear future for the Optimus? And what do you think might be preventing Boston Dynamics from keeping up with Tesla despite having more experience in this field? Please do share your thoughts in the comment section down below. We truly appreciate it. Otherwise, we hope this video provided you with a sense of relaxation. If it resonated with you, kindly show your support by liking the video and joining the Tesla Car World family through subscribing to our channel. Be sure you don't miss any of our fantastic content by hitting the bell icon. Your feedback and time are immensely appreciated. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy life.